Hello everyone, I am back today with a new planner video. This one is going to be with my Recollections 18 month planner that is almost completely used up. I have about three months left in it. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I have to do some back planning for this whole past week because it was very hectic and we had a lot going on and I could not get to it. What I did do was that I wrote down and kept track of all of the things that we did in my smaller mini happy planner and that way I can go back and put the information into here. Um, first, I guess I'm just going to start with my layout, which this week is super cute unikitties. The reason that I chose this layout for this week is because it has these cute kitty cats on it. And this past Wednesday was a week to the day that my kitty cat of eight years, we had to have him put to sleep. And I took it way harder than I ever imagined that I would. Um, like, I know everybody loves their pets, but I feel like I just had, like, a really special bond with this cat. Um, even though... I had only had him for eight years. It was like, you know, I'd been through, within those eight years, I'd been through two pregnancies. Um, I went through a very serious surgery a couple of years ago where I actually almost lost my life because my appendix had ruptured inside of me and unfortunately the hospital that I went to was ridiculous and I was sitting in an ER for over 13 hours before I even got to see a doctor. So every single time that I needed somebody there for me when I was sick, that cat was right there with me. Um, had horrible, horrible morning sickness with both of my daughters. And he was right there. If I had a cold, he was there. He's just a really good guy. And I really like him. And I really miss him. So I thought that it would be really cute to have these cute kitty cat stickers for this week just because I'm thinking of him and I love him and I miss him. And then I have my habit trackers, not really habit trackers. It's just, well, yeah, they're habit trackers just to keep track of what I do. It's not that I need a reminder to feed my animals it's just it have I, I just do it but I like to keep track of it and also as you can see I have not removed my cat yet and I probably won't for some time because I can't even think of that right now that just seems too final for me 
and I'm still like in this this is not really happening kind of phase. Do is my oldest daughter. She just turned 15 on the second. So that was pretty awesome. I feel really old. But it's also cool because me and her like a lot of the same things. So she's also kind of like my best friend. part is something that I don't see many planners have but I like to have them um, and that is my weekly chore chart tracker and I put it up here kind of out of the way in my first weekend box because you know if I'm doing anything on the weekend I'm gonna add it down here and up here is just kind of like free space like I don't need to fill this entire area out with everything that I'm doing on the weekend I just it's just not something that I need to do to be laying down my mood trackers. Now across the bottom here, I'm going to be putting more tracker stickers. And here are my trackers for the bottom. Now when you see stuff like this, like give the babies a bath or brush their teeth or brush my teeth, these are not reminders. I am not reminding myself to do this. It's not like that. What I'm doing is I'm tracking what I do. I don't want to give the impression that I don't know when to take care of my children or take care of myself. So just throwing that out there before anybody's like, well, why do you keep track of that? Why do you need a reminder to take care of your kids? I don't. I'm just tracking when I do. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I have my sidebar, I have my bottom washi, I have my mood trackers, my obsessive habit trackers, and my boxes and my daily cleaning list. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the top up here because I want the dates to better match what is going on with my type down here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to replace the dates. Now these are not going to add up perfectly. I didn't intend for them to add or match up perfectly. Um, if I was using one of the new recollections planners, let me pull it out here real quick this one 
on this one here is for October and this is like the same week that I'm on now if I was to pull this out and like my three has the circle behind it this three does not have a circle behind it so it would look a lot better on this one but I'm not using this one yet even though it's super cute and I'm going to be using it when I finish with this one. Okay, so I have my days, my dates, my boxes, have a trackers dinner work, and more have trackers, more mood trackers. So now I'm going to put down my television shows because I like to keep track of my television shows and that's what I put under stuff and things. So on Mondays, oh, <laughs> okay, don't judge me, okay, please don't judge me. I watch Teen Mom. Why do I watch Teen Mom? Because unfortunately I am emotionally invested into this show now and it's just a guilty pleasure. I love it. It makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> it's like, oh, you had a bad day? Well, you're not locked up like Janelle and you're not getting arrested and it's it's okay um this show here I have not watched it yet manifest from what I understand it's about a plane that disappeared for five years and reappeared and the people on it have not aged and they they're all like what <laughs> the next show is the good doctor um i have not started this show but i am recording this season because i want to watch the first season while i do my exercises in the morning and i figure you know if i record I do the first season and you know watch a full episode or half episode in the morning and then catch up with the second season as it's going, then, you know, I'll be caught up. So these two shows are an example of the shows that I'm recording. I have not watched yet, but I do plan on watching this top one. No, I'll watch that stuff like the next day. I'm ridiculously obsessed. Um, Tuesday nights, I watch This Is Us. I am the only person in the house that watches this show, therefore I have nobody to talk to about this show. Like Teen Mom, yeah, I've suckered my man into watching that show. He will deny it, but every time I put it on, he is sitting there watching it like it's a football game. It's the greatest thing. And he'll ask me about them girls and he'll comment and he'll be like, well, who's who's with who and who's dating who and da, da 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 and what's happening now and I'm like oh nothing Kaylin's just fighting everybody again no big deal oh, okay so and this is another show nobody else in the house is watching um nobody else in the house is watching the good doctor it was his suggestion to watch manifest so now this is a show that every single one of us watch, which is The Purge. I love The Purge. My daughter loves The Purge. My man loves The Purge. I love it, love it, love it. I love that they put, they're starting to put more stuff like this on television. I appreciate that they put it on late at night because I do have younger children, a four and a five year old that do not need to be seeing that type of television. But my 15-year-old, yeah, we eat that stuff up. We love it. Um, a show that we have not started watching yet, but we are recording is Mr. Inbetween. 
Wednesdays is just the most obnoxious night ever. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit all of these on here. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is like the first week that all of the shows started back. So we watched The Goldbergs. That is one of the greatest shows. I love it. Um, next is American Housewife. Let's see here. Next is Modern Family. After Modern Family, Single Parents comes on. And now I am very surprised. I only recorded this show to like give it a chance to see if I even liked it. I didn't think I would, but it is actually very funny. Next thing that comes on on this night is A Million Little Things. Um, again, this is another one of those shows that I will be the only one in the house watching. The thing that I live for Wednesday nights is American Horror Story. American Horror Story, oh man, I love this show so much. I will say this much, Evan Peters, anything he plays, Lord help me. Thursday is Big Bang Theory, um, another guilty pleasure, one that I've also sucked my man into is Jersey Shore. Next show we watch is Young Sheldon. Let's see, Friday night is Fresh Off the Boat. Next show we watch is Speechless. And whew, this train wreck that I watch, and yes, I'm the only one that watches this, Marriage Boot Camp. Why am I watching? DJ Polly D. Don't tell nobody. Then on Sunday, yes, Sunday, we skipped Saturday, shockingly. Sunday, I watch 90 Day Fiance. The next show that I watch was just going to be a show that I watched. And then my 15 year old saw it and now we both watch it, which is the show you that comes on Lifetime. Um, if, if you have ever liked someone enough to stalk them, <laughs> like even if you just kind of like, in high school drove past their house and was like, oh yeah, he's home. He's in there. <laughs> you know, any of that, that's the show for you. Because like my inner 15 year old's coming out and I am just living for it. And last, but definitely not least, The Walking Dead. This here is <laughs> You know what? I, I don't know. I'm still so mad and bitter that they killed off Carl that ever since Carl died, I've kind of been like, yeah, I don't know if I like you no more, but I'm still, I'm still sucked in because Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Negan, oh my God, he is just like the finest thing coming and going. I mean, I'm sorry if you don't agree. That's fine. That leaves more for me. But oh my gosh, his voice and that cocky attitude. Wow. I'm in love. So. Day was my 15 year old daughter's birthday. So I'm going to use this crazy big sticker 
put that there. This day I had to call and make sure that her test results were mailed to our house so I could take it to her other doctor next week. So I called ahead to make sure that they were here. So on this day, what I did was I, let's use pink. I like pink. Made a phone call for the test results. Again, drove to school. Packed a lunch. We did not do homeschool that day. She was off that day. And on this day, I washed a load of dishes. And folded a load of clothes. Let's see, Wednesday. Wednesday was just kind of a sad day because it was a week, like I said, since my kitty kitty passed. Um, Nothing really happened on that day, actually. You know, now that I think about it, I did. I actually did do quite a bit of housework on that day. So I'm going to put down another bar. And... I washed clothes. I dried clothes. And I also put up clothes. All right. So there's that side. And then on Tuesday, Tuesday, nope, that's Thursday. Um, Thursday, I'm gonna put another dress on this day. I don't really have a sticker to put down for that. But I had to get dresses for my daughter's picture day, which was on Friday. Um, on this day, I also talked to my granny. So I will put a phone here and then let's see on Friday was my granny's birthday and my granny turned 98 years old. And let's see what else, what else we got on here. So here I'm going to put this, kind of a doo-doos, you know what, I didn't even put her thing on here. That's just right, do 15, 
and watch I guarantee by the time I come back it smears because I used a G2 and I did not use a Sharpie and those are super watch oh I know it's gonna do it yeah but not too bad No, nope, at least it stayed. So that's good. On this one, I'm going to do it a little bit different. Do this this way. And then write it over here. But that's why everything's already filled out because my handwriting's awful. We've already established that. Okay. So, just do my usual thing during the week. Packing lunches, taking kids to school. Um... This was a good weekend, so put that up like that. Go to school. Picture day. Pack a lunch. Posted a video. Oh, that's what I did on Thursday. I edited the video. And if I'm not mistaken, that was also trash day. Had, we definitely had homeschool on this day. So I'll just kind of pop it up there. And then we had school on this day. And Wednesday and then this is the night that me and my man got together and watched the McGregor fight. Again, no spoilers, but whew, that was crazy. We forgot to add that the doctor. <laughs> I hope you can check out that sticker. That's the sticker that I use whenever I pay my doctor. I just find it hilarious. Okay, so let's just go quickly through the days. Um, forgetting some stuff. I don't know how I can forget that because I always have to do that. And I like to keep track of it. So there's that. Then on Sundays is when the dolphins play. It's also the day that we go to Aldi. And we go to Walmart to get our shopping done for the week, our grocery shopping. Um, 
I immediately come home and start meal prepping for the week. Ooh, just started raining outside. Also, Friday's payday. Finally, after forever, I got my hair trimmed on this day. So we'll put that there. That's a big, huge sticker, but I like it. Tuesday, I was on social media and made a post. And Friday, I made a post. And on Saturday, I made a post. Also, I had to buy toilet paper. Need, yes, and that is a reminder, buy toilet paper, because if I don't, we won't have any. So yes, I had to put a reminder to buy toilet paper. So dishes were done Thursday, Sunday. And then clothes were done on Monday, Wednesday, um, Sunday, because I had to wash the baby's blanket for pre-K, and then sweep. If I do dishes, I'm sweeping. And oddly, if I'm doing clothes, I'm vacuuming. And if I'm doing dishes, I'm wiping down the kitchen. But I also do it on the nights where, oh, not that night. I do it on the nights where I cook, too. Um, bathrooms are a given. It's every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday. It's just how we do it. Um, mop floors every Sunday, every Wednesday. So here's my week. Here's my planner. And I forgot I'm going to talk to my granny. And there you have it. So that is the end of my video. And I hope if you liked the video, if you liked my spread, that you will give me a like, a thumbs up, a subscribe. Um, I will be back more soon with my different layouts and different planners if you like these videos if they get a good response if not then I'll just stick with other stuff you know I just do them because they're fun to do um, until next time bye mm -hmm.